Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today you're probably wondering why the heck I am on camera with Zan's makeup. Sans makeup, no makeup, zip, zip, zip. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video because I don't do those enough apparently. And I also wanted to um, show you guys um, the new studio gear. Not new, but studio gear eye shadows that I just purchased recently from Ulta. I've been really enjoying them and I just want to give you um, my take and a review. So whatever. I'm just going to do a get ready with me. Yeah, so I'm rusty with this whole get ready with me kind of stuff. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to try and do through the viewfinder if I can possibly do it, but I have the mirror below that I'm going to be looking into. I'm doing way too much talking. All right, so let's get started. First thing is my face is already cleaned, primed, moisturized, all that good stuff. I just did a review on the Exuviance peel, which will be also uploaded probably before this one will be. Um, so everything is already clean and ready for makeup. Unfortunately, I'm dealing with this today, but yeah, there is that. Oh, I do need to get my concealer. Hang on one sec. Okay, here we go. Um, so to start with, I'm going to be starting with um, BB creams. I'm actually going to be combining these two today. So I will be using the Clearing Petite BB that I got off of Amazon. This is supposedly a um, acne clearing BB cream. And then I'm going to go in with the uh, Too Faced Beauty Balm in medium because it's a darker color. My skin complexion is still dark from tanning. Um, and this is way too light for me. So I'm just going to go and start with that. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to mix the two BB creams together as so. I know it looks like a lot. It really isn't because once I start using my brush, which I'll be using, not that one, <laughs> this flat top kabuki that I got off of Amazon, I'm going to be mixing them in with the brush and then starting to swirl on my face. All right. So, yeah, it's been a minute since I've done any kind of get ready with me videos. In fact, I think I've done one video beforehand. Um, and the reason I decided to do it today is because nobody's around and maybe I won't be so bad at it as I think I will be because I really don't think I'm that great at doing these types of videos. Staying away from the inner eyes because, of course, I'll be using a primer on my eyes. I usually do um, cover my entire face when I put foundation or BB cream, but since I'm using the clearing with the acne, I don't want to get that on my eyes. So I think this is pretty much in, on, and on camera it looks lighter than it is, so I am going to go again and apply a little bit more of the Too Faced Beauty Balm in medium just to kind of even out the color a little bit because it is a little light. So here we go. And this actually gives me a little bit of a glow instead of me looking so palely white. Okay, make sure that's good and blended in. You don't want any streaks of that nature. And then down to the neck. All right, good as gold on that. Of course, I have my makeup wipes right here so I can wipe off the stuff on the back of my hand. Here we go. Okay, then I've been trying this new trick um, that I saw on one of Wayne Goss's videos, and I think it's just ingenious. He said um, if you spray rose water in between all of your applications, like your foundation application, and then you spritz, and then you do your powder, then you spritz. So I'm going to be doing that all along this video, so if it looks a little strange, I did get this from the great Wayne Goss. I think he's wonderful, and um, it's been working really nicely for me. It makes my face look dewier than normal, and um, it gives it a nice glow and a nice finish. So I'm just going to go in with a couple of spritzes, and he tells you to wait until your skin has absorbed all of the liquid in, and then I'm going to go in with my um, powder. Before I'm going to do my powder, though, I'm going to apply my concealer, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer, because I'm working with, of course, a face demon today. I'm just going to apply some there, right on that spot. 
and in other little areas where I think I need it. And today we need it under the eyes because I see we've got some Saturday Night Lines. Get it? SNL. Saturday Night Lines. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I got that line from. I just decided to say it, but yeah. So I'm going to do that first and then go back in with my flat top. Just blend it all in. And this I don't swirl, I just kind of pat it in. Just do like a little bit of a swirl. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't swirl, I pat. I meant pat, I didn't mean swirl. I don't know a swirl. I know a pat. <laughs> okay. That's a fair amount of coverage there. And then, as Mr. Goss says, another spritz. I'm using this rose water body splash. Um, it is for face as well. You can use any type of rose water if you choose to use um, the rose water um, method. It really does do a really nice job of making everything look more natural than less covered up. So it's a good, good tip. Thank you, Mr. Goss. Okay, my skin is absorbing that, so I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D. This is the Locket Powder Foundation, and this is in the color Medium 54, which is perfect for me. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Powder Brush. I usually use a bigger, softer brush, but of course I didn't grab for it, so I'm just going to do a couple of swirls in the areas that need it, the shiny areas. I don't usually... Depends on the look I want. If I want it to be a little dewy, I go less with the powder, but today I don't really want it to be that dewy. So, just going to go and put it in the areas in my T-zone. And you can already see there's like a dewiness from the rose water, which I really do like. Makes it look less cakey, which is beautiful. All right. Here we go again. I know it's going to get redundant. Woo! Tip. Try not to get it in your eyes. Try not to do that. All right. So while this is drying on my face, I am going to go in with my eyes now. So, of course, I need to reach in for a couple of things. I'm going to be using my Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer. I love this primer. It is my favorite primer out of all the higher-end ones, and that's just my personal opinion. So I am going to just look in this mirror and dollop a few. I usually use two, depending, and I go all the way up underneath my eyebrow as well. And then, again, you don't need a lot with this, except if you don't put enough on, <laughs> on the applicator, but you really don't need a lot, per se. Okay, go in with that, let that dry. No, I'm not going to spritz anything on my eyes because that will be painful and you don't need to do that. Also got to grab the eye, the um, eyebrows. Uh, it's going to be okay. My eyebrows, so I can do those. My eyebrows have grown in considerably lately, so I'm not filling them in as much as I usually do. But when I do, I go in with this NYC pencil and charcoal. I know a lot of people might think that that's a little too dark, but it does work for me. I don't go and line the entire eye. I just kind of fill it in. So I'm going to go in and just go underneath where there is an area of sparsity, if that's a word. And just kind of bring it out a little bit, but not a lot. And of course, I'm going to be taking the spoolie to it so that spreads out the product. And the same thing on here. They're still growing in. They were pretty sparse over the summer. But they're now coming in thanks to the wonderful effects of my coconut oil. I, I, I kind of think coconut oil is like it's the greatest thing since, you know, white bread. And it's healing everything and making everything in my beauty regimen just work better. I don't know. It, I could be wrong. It could just be my jeans. But, we'll, you know, we'll go with the coconut oil. All right. And then I kind of bring it down, but not too much, because it does look harsh when I first apply it, but then I go in with my little spoolie, and I spread out that product just to make them look even and 
eyebrowish like. <laughs> and then, of course, I didn't. I go in with my Anastasia Lash Genius. This is just a clear top coat, but this sets in so nicely. And I just do a little bit like that. And that'll hold in my eyebrows for the day. So I'm good. I'm good with that. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the eyes. And I'm going to be using all four colors of my uh, studio gear that I picked up at Ulta, all four of these guys. So I'm going to start out with the lightest of the colors, and that is this one in Starlet. This is the color Starlet. And I'm going to use my brush that I, again, I got all of the brushes that I'm going to be using on my eyes on Amazon. Um, if you're interested in them, I can link leave the link below for, you know, how much they are. I think they're still available. These are very inexpensive, and I'll tell you something, I would compare it up against Sigma any day. I think they're really good quality. So I'm just going to go in with that and go on my lid and just take it across. I like this because it has a point, so I can go all the way in into the inner corner as well, like that. Then to the other eye, in the inner corner and out. And it's a really pretty subtle pink color. I'm also going to be taking this right underneath my eyebrow as my color up here. I never know what to call it up here. I know people call it like the brow bone, and I, I don't like that expression for some reason, so I don't use it. But I'm going up there underneath my eyebrow just to give it a little bit of highlight up there. Okay. Then, next, I'm going to be going into my crease with this one. This is in Dream Factory. This is such a pretty purplish taupe color. Really, really gorgeous. And I love the way it blends. I'm going to be using my blend brush to go in. And I always, this is the pull eye trick. I always do it so I can get into my eye. And I always go across and just do a swooping motion, blending it in as I'm applying it. Like that. And the same on the other side. I go from the inner, I mean, from the outer to the inner. I always do it this way. It's just something I'm comfortable doing. And then I just keep blending that in. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go in for aid. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. I'm going to be taking this golden smoke and this is going to be on my outer corner and then I'm going to blend that in as well using the same brush. I don't really need to use any special brush to do this. I kind of just pat it in to my outer corner like that and also on this, the other side the same thing. And then I do the swirl technique, where I'm swirling and blending it in at the same time. And what I love about each and every single one of these colors is you can keep building it up, but it won't look brash or too much, too much pigmentation. It actually looks really nice. And then I'm blending that in as well. So far, so good, I think. <laughs> And the last color is going to be the all-over just blending color, and that one is in Pink Freeze. This is a little bit of a shimmer color, um, and it's t more taupe than pink, and I really kind of like the effect. So I'm going to go in with a bigger blending brush and just take a little bit of that, and I'm going to go over the entire eye with it. Just blend all of that in. And the same thing for the other side. Just take it and blend it all, all in. Okay. 
Okay, now on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier color, and it, it is it is in. I'm I'm tripping. It is in the color Plum. It's a caviar eye stick that I got in a swap from Alicia, and I really really like it. And I'm going to be hitting my waterline with this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple plum color. So I'm just going to be going in and turn away if you guys. I know some guys, don't, people don't like to watch people put eyeliner in somebody's waterline, but I don't really mind it too much. It's very, very pigmented, so you have to have a light hand with this one. And I really love the color on this. Now, you could take a brush and you can blend. I usually just use my finger if I see that it's a little too dark, but I kind of like this effect, so I'm going to keep it that way. And then I'm going to go up above and just lightly line up here. I know, it makes most people uncomfortable to see such a big pencil or crayon, what have you. But... I don't have a problem using that. Okay, so that is it for the um, eye area. Last thing I'm going to be doing with the eye area, of course, is mascara. So I will be going in with two mascaras. The first one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. I think it makes my eyes look just so vavoom. I mean, it and never ever leaves like a crustiness or a crunchy feeling on this. So I'm just going to go a couple of coats on this. And I don't feel like you have to do the wiggling on this one. The brush is really soft and really nice. There it is there. Go in on the other one. And then I'm going to go in and take the Urban Decay Perversion, which I just got in um, my Ipsy bag. And I'm going to just do the bottom lashes with that one. That's always the weird bottom lash um, face we make. All right, guys. And hopefully I didn't get any of that underneath my eye itself. And then I'll just go in with one coat. And just make the top ones look a little bit more dramatic. Okay. Now, since I've done my eyes, I'm going to go again in with um, the rest of my face. So I'm going to be doing the contouring and blush. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced bronzer for the contour. This brush is so fantastic. This is a Sephora brush. I don't know what type of brush it is, but um, it just says Modeler Visage. It's a face, it is a face contour brush. I use it for blush and for my um, bronzer, so just going to swish it a little bit, tap it on the mirror, and then just go from here and lightly. And with this Too Faced, seriously, you really don't need a lot. I try to be as light-handed with this as I possibly can. And the same here from my hairline a little down just right in there don't try to make such a perfect line it never works out and then I will go and go to the sides of my nose top of my forehead down the front of my nose because I want it to look like the Sun hit me <laughs> and then along the jawline and here It's very subtle, but it gives it what effect I want it to. And here we go with the spray again. And you're like, you're spraying that with your mascara on? Yes, because my mascara now is drying. Okay, so um, the last thing I'm going to go in with is my blush. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller blush. And this is in the color bl Blush and Brighten Berry. I love, love, love 
Actually, it's called Blush and Brighten in Berry. And it's such a pigmented blush, but it is gorgeous, gorgeous. You have to be, again, very light-handed with this. I'm just going to tap in my contour brush again and snap it off here on the mirror so I'm not giving too much color. And then right to the cheeks. And even then, it's like really, really pigmented. But I am going to go in and take a highlight to that. Actually, a just a regular powder to that. Right to the cheeks. Just blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. And then I also will do this. Because it is so pigmented, it looks like I've been in the sun. Alright. And I take the sides and I take the side of this contouring brush and then I just blend it out a little bit more and it does look a little too brash for me so I'm gonna take this perfectly natural everyday balancing makeup from pure and I usually just go over it with that if it looks too much this is like a really nice highlighting contouring well not a contour it's a highlight powder and I just go over that entire area if it's too much and it gives a nice blend while taking away the brashness. And over the nose. And then again, Mr. Gosh. Gosh, Mr. Goss. Okay, guys, I'm going to give it a minute and then I will show you my final look. Okay, guys, so I have now applied my lip color. I use the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. This color is in 001 in India. It's a really pretty um, magenta pink. It's a stain, not a lip gloss, but I just put a little bit and just like spread it around my lips. And this is it for the look. So there is the eyes. It's a very, very subtle, pretty, um, sort of neutral look, I think. And the rest of it, toned it down a little bit more um, with the blush, because the blush, I told you, is so, so pigmented, so you don't really want to use a lot of the blush. All right, guys, that's it for my Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.